to call with me Francesca Scazzina of uh, University of Parma because this is not the project uh, of uh, the municipality but uh, the whole city. Geocampus uh, was born because we believe that the education of our children does not consist only in teaching them math, history or science. We believe that if we want to build a community people are happy to live in, we have to encourage a healthy lifestyle and improve a culture of wellness. And in order to achieve this, we need to start educating our children. In Italy, in primary school, we don't have a specialized teacher in physical education. This is the reason why we introduced the so-called master of movement. But it wasn't enough because we noticed that our children were becoming more and more overweight anyway. Uh, Parma, uh, before the, the start of this project, was the worst uh, city in, in our region. And uh, after you, you saw the results, uh, we are the best city in, uh, in Emilia Romagna. Therefore, we introduced the figure of Master of Taste to, to teach nutrition and food education to our, chi our children. Finally, we think that a project about wellness can't uh, lack lessons about the environment around us, and so we started to talk to our children about sustainability and climate change. Uh, then I'm happy to be here, not, not alone, as I, as I said, uh, with my, but uh, I'm here with, with uh, Francesca of uh, University of Parma, and there are also uh, Michele, Elio, and Stefano, and Lara, that <laughs> every day worked on this project. <laughs> Usually, politicians take uh, the prize, but uh, he, who work uh, are them, and then thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. I want only to add two things. I'm going to add two things to strength of this uh, project. The first is the strong collaboration with University of Parma overseeing for scientific content and background research. And second, that uh, nutrition education program of Jocampo helped Parma, helped Parma in obtaining UNESCO recognition as city of gastronomy. And uh, nutrition for youth remain one of the three international pillars of Parma and the best practice goal. Thank you again. Cumprimentar a todos aí em Tel Aviv que participam desse encontro do Pacto de Milão. Eu quero dizer que, como prefeito de Belo Horizonte, eu tenho muito orgulho de estar participando desse momento importante da inclusão alimentar diversificada e saudável da população que mais precisa. Este é o lema do meu governo, governando para quem precisa. Por isso, abrimos nossos restaurantes populares e atendemos, além dos trabalhadores, gratuitamente, os carentes e moradores de rua. Parabéns a todos. Um abraço aqui do Brasil. Well, I'm glad to be here, and I'll talk about uh, the experience of São Paulo. São Paulo has about uh, 2,000 million inhabitants, two mil uh, so, sorry, 12 million inhabitants, and our school system has around, uh, has about 1 million students, and we serve 2.2 million meals every day in uh, 3,680 uh, education units. It's uh, a huge system. And all this is free for children from early childhood to elementary schools. Uh, our initiative has five axes. First, pedagogical practices. From early childhood to elementary schools, uh, we, uh, our children learn about uh, healthy alimentation and uh, 
environment, and we now have a curriculum al aligned with the SDGs, ONO SDGs. So all our policies are integrated with the SDGs. The curriculum, the pedagogical system, and all we do in the secretary. Local development, because we raised uh, uh, food from um, family farmers in small uh, properties. Sustainability, because these family uh, farmers are uh, near the water sources of Sao Paulo city and other cities around Sao Paulo. Food and nutrition security, because we have vulnerable uh, children in our schools and the chance to eat differently is in our schools, not in home. So this is very important. In early childhood, they, they has uh, five meals a day, for instance. And transparency, because all this uh, is with civil, civil society and government working together. Sorry. We have three government actors working together, three different departments of the city, and organized civil society too. Uh, a council of family farmers, uh, institutions in, uh, involved in conscious conception and thematic conscious uh, with social participation. Uh, now the children knows where the vegetables come because it's near their houses. This is important. Uh, we have, we launched a program of pedagogical gardens in the schools, and now we have around 1,000 pedagogical gardens in the schools. They work uh, with their teachers, knowing how to plant and how, uh, and after they use the vegetables uh, in their meals. And uh, an articulation with the curriculum. Our curriculum was developed last year, aligned to the uh, uh, SDGs, ONU SDGs. So uh, all these actions are articulated. And we have social impacts because the, the children are, uh, vulnerable children are uh, eating different meals and are being more healthy. Economic impacts, family farmers have money to grow and to stay at the farmers in the city. And environmental impacts because we are protected protecting water sources in the city too. And I'm ending with uh, the problems we have to face, a reference price, logistics, because almost uh, 4,000 points around the city. And uh, children has easier sex, access to ultra-processed food. So we are talking about changing culture. Uh, food is culture also, not just healthy, so we have to change this. So we launched uh, our Meatless Monday, and now we are serving around uh, five million uh, meals uh, a month without meat 